Hey guys, it's Phil from SmilingGardener.com and I'm finally back at the garden here. You know, it was a bit of an anxious year because I, I broke new ground and put in a new vegetable garden this year. Uh, and I basically, I planted a bunch of stuff mostly in June and seeded a bunch of stuff and then I left for, ended up being about five weeks. And uh, it's at my parents' house. So my parents were here to water it for the most part, but they weren't here all the time. And uh, you know, when you put in a garden, a vegetable garden, you wanna be here every day. There's all kinds of things that you wanna do every day. So I was a little nervous about how it was gonna turn out. Uh, and it turns out it actually turned out, worked out really well, especially for a first year on new soil. The soil's not all that great yet. I'm, you know, working on it, but um, I guess you can see part of it behind me here. There's my, some greens and herbs. Uh, I really like to plant things uh, all together, really biodiverse, not straight rows. So I have, you know, I have 30 plants behind me right here uh, that's mostly greens and herbs. So that turned out great. Uh, and I'll show you more about that over the coming weeks and months. Uh, today, what I wanted to talk about was, oh, if you haven't picked up the 50 vital organic gardening lessons for becoming a better organic gardener, you can do that at smilinggardener.com right on the main page. Um, I'm sure you heard me talk about that before. And today what I want to talk about is um, one of the first things I did when I came back is I put together a concoction and I sprayed my plants. And if you guys have been watching me for a while, you'll know that I, um, I like to do a lot of foliar feeding and spraying directly onto the plants. And today I want to talk about one of the ingredients that I like to use. Uh, uh, and the reason I started thinking about this was last night my dad was asking me about the health um, benefits and environmental implications of eating fish and things like that because um, my wife is a holistic nu nutritionist and she and I work together teaching people about health and things like that um, and uh, he was asking about fish and um, he was asking about trout and I started thinking about uh, the research by Dr. Maynard Murray. Uh, he was an ear, nose and throat doctor who did a lot of research uh, in the ocean because he was he was just he was dejected at all the people who were coming to him with um, all kinds of diseases and diabetes and arthritis and things like that. And um, eventually his research took him to the ocean where he found that uh, ocean trout uh, lived quite a long time. They didn't get any cancer. They got pretty big, whereas lake trout were smaller. They, on average, they were getting cancer after, uh, I think it was five and a half years is what it averaged out to be. Uh, I think it was lung cancer. And so eventually his research led him to believe that all of the fact that all of our minerals eventually make their way into uh, the, our oceans, uh, it's a very mineral rich place, uh, me, is, is the reason why the life in the ocean is so much healthier than the life on land. And so he started getting the Navy to bring in railroad car, cars of ocean water. He bought a farm and he was doing experiments on his farm uh, watering and he just noticed huge improvements in the health of his plants. You know, bigger yield, much less pest uh, infestations, just healthier plants all around that tasted better and stored longer and things like that. So um, I got really excited about sea minerals and um, I think what I'm going to do today is I'll post on my blog how you can go about using ocean water or you can purchase a product to use it and if I post it on my blog that way I can um, show you how like the amounts to use and how to dilute it and things like that. So if you're not already watching it there if you're on YouTube or something you can go I'll put a link below to this blog post. Um, so you can use ocean water but he eventually started using more concentrated forms and what's um, going on today is products like this that don't look all that Nice. It's just ocean water, but it's very concentrated ocean water. It's very pristine. And this one is called Sea Crop is the brand name. And I think it's one of the best. It's the one I always use. I'm sure there are a lot of other ones out there that are good too. And really what it is, is it's ocean water. So it's, you know, over 80 minerals from the ocean. The way they make this one, there's other organic living substances in there too. Uh, you know, just bioactive substances and um, really, really super amazing to use in the garden. On the blog, I'll show you how. Uh, the research that he did, if you want to learn more about the research and just, there's so much proof out there about how this works. Um, you can read his book, Sea Energy Agriculture, where he covers a lot of the research. One that always sticks in my mind about this product, this sea crop, is uh, it was used an independent trial on tomatoes and they, they got 89% more tomatoes on their plants and 44% uh, bigger tomatoes. So just a lot more yield. And that's just yield, you know, it's also about improved health and taste and storage and all that kind of stuff. So um, yeah, I'll post, um, I'll post on the blog more about this and I'll, I'll also talk, there's, there are some questions people often have about, you know, some of the, they're a little bit concerned about using what is a, maybe a salty product uh, on their garden. So I'll address those there. I just don't want this video to become too long. 
Um, so I'll put a link below to that. You can also, when you're there, you can pick up the 15 vital lessons for becoming a better organic gardener. Just some lessons that I learned early on when I was studying this stuff that uh, I thought were really cool. So I put them all together for you for free. And um, I will be showing lots more videos about this garden over the next little while. Uh, I just, I'm excited to get in here. We're eating from it every day, all kinds of good stuff. So uh, that's all for now and I'll see you next week.